the setup of this problem is similar to the setup of problem three on Dr. Kuba's exam in terms of the wording. Um, so here are the things that we kind of need to dissect in this. The solid lies between the planes perpendicular to the x-axis at zero and four. So I know that this is giving me our bounds. X is gonna go between zero and four. We know they're squares. So if we're thinking about just generally what that cross-sectional area is going to look like, we're gonna have some sort of square with a thickness of dx. And that's gonna make the cross-sectional volume the area of that square times dx. And I'm gonna go ahead and label the sides of this square, um, let's just call them s. So then the, er the cross-sectional area of our square this is gonna look like S squared. And then to find the volume, we'll be doing that S squared dx and calculus style. I'm gonna be adding that up with an integral. So now the question becomes, how do I find that S? I'm gonna go ahead and get a picture going here. So we've got y equals negative square root of x to y equals positive square root of x? Well, there's a positive square root of x, and there's the negative square root of x. And we've been told that the cross section's perpendicular to the x-axis. So I'm gonna run this line perpendicular to the x-axis. This is the diagonal of that square. So this length right here corresponds to this diagonal over here. And I'll just go ahead and call that D. Well, in terms of this length, I know that that length is coming from our top function minus our bottom function. So this length here, would be the square root of x minus negative square root of x, or two square root of x. So that's our d over here. And in order to find this cross-sectional area, I don't need the value of d, I actually need the value of s squared. I've got a right triangle where we know that that diagonal side is two square root of x. And because it's a square, each of these sides are s. So if I were finding the relationship between s and x in order to replace my s in the integral, I would be looking at Pythagorean theorem, so s squared plus s squared, or s squared plus s squared would have to be equal to two square root of x whole thing squared. Now I can simplify this. s squared plus s squared, I've got two s squared on this side, and over here that two squared will be four, and x squared, or square root of x quantity squared, would give me an x. So my s squared is two x. Bringing that back to our volume equation, my volume would look like two x dx, and because we were told we're between x equals zero and x equals four, this integral goes from zero to four. 